Hi everyone, in this video I will walk you through a numerical exercise in Excel that will show you how you can calculate the present value of a growing annuity. And I will do this in a couple of different ways. So consider Northern Arizona Publishing Company. This is a company that's trying to decide whether to revise its popular textbook, Crypto Investments Simplified. Hmm, that sounds like a book I'd like to read. Uh, the revision is expected to cost $325,000. Cash flows from increased sales will be $94,000 in the first year and then are expected to grow by 4% per year. Okay, the book will go out of print five years from now. Okay, so this is a growing annuity. Why? Because in the first year you will get $94,000. Then this amount will increase by a constant growth rate of 4% for a certain number of years, which is five years. So that makes it a growing annuity. Assume the initial cost is paid now and revenues are received at the end of the year. If the company requires a rate of return of 10%, what is the present value of the cash inflows of the project? And is this investment worth it? So the first thing that I'm doing here is jotting down all the information that we are provided. Now, one way to do this question is to actually draw out a timeline and on that timeline show the different cash flows that you're going to get at different points in time. So here you are at time period zero. At the end of time period one, you are expecting $94,000. So that's fine. In the second year, you're expecting 4% more. So this number is going to be this multiplied by one plus this growth rate of 4%. And I want to make sure that this cell reference is locked in. So I'm going to press the F4 key. And what this does is that now if I just copy this formula with control C and then carry it over with control V, it basically takes a look at the last value and then grows it by the same constant growth rate of 4%. I'm going to copy this in the next two cells as well. And so these are the increased cash flows that we're going to get from the sales of the revised edition. So if you're interested in calculating the present value of this annuity, one simple way is simply to calculate the present value of these cash flows. So all you do is do equal to NPV. Your discount rate is 10% and the cash flows that you're expecting starting from year one are all these cash flows. So literally just highlight all these numbers and really that's it. The present value of this annuity is 383,135.02. And if the question also asks you, is it a worthwhile investment? Well, you're gonna have to spend $325,000 to get a present value of cash flows that is 383,000. Would you spend 325 to get 383? Yes, we also refer to this as a project that has a positive NPV. So this is a worthwhile investment. The problem with calculating present value of a growing annuity in this way is that you literally have to lay out all the cash flows that you're expecting at different points in time, which is fine if you're only doing it for five years. But if this was a growing annuity for like 30 years or 40 years, that's a lot of cash flows for you to write down. So fortunately, there is a formula as well that you can use. And that formula looks like this present value equal to C over R minus G into one minus one plus G over one plus R raised to the power T. Okay, that sounds complicated, but it's not really. It's just a formula. C is the first cash flow that you're getting. That is $94,000 in our example. R refers to the discount rate and G refers to the growth rate. And T is the number of years for which you are expecting the annuity. And so another way to calculate the present value of this growing annuity would be to just make use of this formula. So C over R minus G, take a look at this. I'm taking C10, which is my cash flow, divided by R, which is 10%, minus the growth rate, which is in cell C11. And then I'm multiplying it all by this other term in the parentheses, which is one minus, and then I'm doing one plus G divided by one plus R, this whole thing raised to the power five, which is here in cell K12. And so might require you to do a little bit of practice, but if you do it right, you will get the exact same answer that you got from the Excel calculation as well. And so there you go. Present value of a growing annuity. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to ask any questions using the comment section.
happy learning. Bye.